You know, every now and then we come across an app that shows major signs of potential, encompassing the fads of yesterday while introducing what looks to be the trends of tomorrow. What's that app now? Well, it's a live video broadcasting app called Periscope. Video is alive and thriving these days, and everyone is posting their own creations to their favorite networks, from Instagram to Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube, and Twitter. Well, actually, Twitter caught on to this, and after creating their own live video broadcasting app, Meerkat, they acquired a young Periscope for millions of dollars. So here's Periscope in a gist. When you open the app and tap the broadcast button, you can begin broadcasting a live feed of whatever you're doing to the people of the internet. They can chat while watching your feed, and the link is sent out to your Twitter timeline. Yeah, say hi to the camera, we're live. But okay, why is this a big deal though? For now, people have enjoyed sharing their moments, but they've all been static. They don't move as you move. Periscope introduces a new life to feeling like you are actually with who you're interested in because you're watching them in real time. Celebrities, businesses, and public figures alike have realized this and have quickly made the app a hotspot for rejuvenating their working brands. Just recently, networks like ESPN, CNN, and more have found new life on one of Snapchat's latest updates. But while I thought it was cool at first, I think many will agree when I ask, who uses this every day? For those in their personal lives, Skype and FaceTime can let you connect and chat with others inside certain parameters, but maybe Periscope can bring new opportunities, with options like only giving access to your broadcast to certain followers. And remember when I said how people enjoy watching things back after they happen? Well, after every broadcast, the video from it is stored on your profile where you or your followers can go check it out at any time, regardless of if you're streaming live or not. See, in a time where everyone is a journalist in a way, Periscope brings a fresh way to keep this notion going. Now it's not Facebook or Instagram, but that's what makes it interesting. And it's not Twitter either, but with Twitter integration, that's what makes it comfortable, like a seamless transition. I guess the biggest question at hand now is, how long will Periscope be live?